good morning students of class 11 today we are going to study about the inscriptions importance of the inscriptions and of coins today we will begin with importance of inscriptions the earlier day we have already studied the inscriptions are engraved on pillars walls and coins are a medium of exchange from inscriptions and coins we get to know about a lot of information the rulers their way of life the religious beliefs same with the inscriptions and with the coins the first thing that we get to know from the inscriptions is the socio religious political aspects of life all this information are engraved on the inscriptions and all the aspects of society are being got from the inscriptions next is the military extent or military campaign the military campaign taken by the rulers are being mentioned in the inscriptions say the campaign military campaign of mauryan ashokan kingdom sadavahanas kushanas all all these are recorded in the inscriptions so inscriptions serves us as a source of military campaign of of the kingdom of particular rulers like ashokan mauryan empire and other empires that have existed in the past next is that they gives us information on the development of languages that have existed in the earlier period like prakrit sanskrit kharosthi script these are all ancient script that have existed but not yet deciphered but these are being recovered from the inscriptions many ancient languages in greek also are we recovered from the inscriptions these all went with inscriptions now we are going to study about coins coins as we all know is a medium of exchange and it is used in different forms like lead copper silver and gold and ancient coins in india it dated back to in india or in other parts dated back to 500 bc back so we have coins back to 500 bc and coins can be made of lead copper silver and gold next is that the coins were hoarded at that time as there was no banking system the coins were hoarded and kept under earth as a reserve because they believed that as these are of valuable importance and they should be reserved and kept under the earth under special care next is coins cannot be issued by anybody like in our banking system the banks are issued or got from the reserve bank and then it gets circulated to other banks we have a mint from where coins and other things are uh, currency are made at that point of time issuing of coins was basically in the hands of the rulers after the rulers the merchants and the kings who had the authority of issuing coins next is gandhi a paisa 
This kind of coins are mostly found in UP and Gujarat. This is also a form of currency that is being found in UP and Gujarat. So we have turned to the importance of inscriptions and importance of coins. And later we will discuss vividly on the importance of coins and what it reveals, what kind of information it gives to us. With this video clip, your PDF will be attached. Thank you.